So back on site again after a week in Croatia, which has been amazing. So work stopped for a week and we've got the diggers moving in today to move how many bricks? 1,200? 1,200. Let's oh, go and have a look at them. I've got 1,200 dense concrete blocks here. And uh, yeah, there's been a bit of a shortage of these recently and they've gone up in price a fair bit, as is everything, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that's just the way of the world at the moment. These are from Dennis May and Sons. These concrete blocks are dense concrete blocks and they're 7.3 Newtons. And they'll be supporting the beam and block floor from the lower ground to the upper ground. So yeah, it's a big deal. They're gonna be taking a lot of load. And the builder James, he uh, organized all these. So um, yeah, they're a real McCoy. So we've had the blocks that have arrived, 1,200 of them, which we have to then transport from the top of the site to the bottom of the site, because unfortunately we couldn't get a crane. So we've got a friend who's come out who's a digger driver who is going to help us load them and move them down. So these will then be used to do the internal walls to support the beam and block floor. Actual proof that Alex does us some work. Hey, it doesn't happen very often, does it? No. <laughs> There's about 64 blocks in there, so a fair weight. And that's the guys stacking the blocks down there, ready for the blocky, who's starting next week, hopefully. Well, that's 1,200 blocks dropped down to the level below. Everybody worked really hard in, um, yeah, in hot temperatures today, so good progress and ready for Toby to start his uh, block work um, next week, which is what's going to be supporting the beam and block floor above. So come back and watch and see how we get on. It's dried up a fair bit since the last time we were here. There was, uh, yeah, about two inches of water here, so it's drying out nicely. And I suppose that's a double-edged sword. If it's holding the water in and the water isn't escaping and staying at a regular level, then it's fair to say that it'll also keep the water out. But that being said, we've still got another um, tanking layer to go on the inside and the outside. So it, yeah, really is going to be bulletproof this stuff. <clears throat> James has also been marking out where the internal walls are. So let's have a look. We've got some nails and string lines in. So it's interesting to see, because what seems a really big space, of course, gets smaller when we start to add walls in. So um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how it all works. The first course is gonna be um, engineering brick with an open perps, 70 mil high. Then we have a DPC, 250 mil wide. And then uh, they'll continue the dense concrete block walls on top of that up to where the lintels go in and then we're finishing height for the beam and block flooring. So not everything gets done in the lovely sunshine on site. More deliveries today um, in between showers, which is a good thing. So Alex is away in Africa now for six, seven weeks. So um, back to me being on site on my own for a bit with the help of um, James and the rest of the team who are doing the main ICF, so that's good news. Uh, we're in safe hands between us all, I'm sure. Um, and we're just going down to check, or I'm just going down to check the site to see the impact on the weather. Uh, I think we've got a lot of water in the house. Yep, so um, we obviously have a little bit of water here to get rid of. The drainage holes are in place, but we've had such torrential rain, I just don't think they can keep up with the amount of water that needs to be taken out of here. Brickwork being started uh, on site today, so I will show you what that looks like now.
that's what time. <laughs> So I haven't been on here for a while to give anyone an update of what's going on in the build um, just because it's just been so busy. We are falling a little bit behind our schedule but this week we have got the internal walls being built downstairs. As you can see things are starting to take shape slightly inside more. Weather hasn't helped really. So they say every day is a school day and building a house is no different to that. Um, what have I learned this week? I've learned a lot about sand. Um, I thought build a sand was build a sand, yet I was so wrong. So day four of building internal walls, the bricklayers had enough and they said the sand that I had was actually sharp sand and it's not very good or um, flexible for them for building. So as a result, they needed proper builder sand. Um, I'll just show you the two examples of what I bought and what has then been bought subsequently. Okay, this is sharp sand, people. It has more of a grainier consistency, but actually is stronger when it's used in a mortar base. And this sand is builder's sand, which our bricklayers are happier to use. I can't tell the difference between those two sands. They both look very similar to me, but I'm not the expert. So I bow to their better judgment. Mm -hmm. 